Did you know you can enhance your use of Microsoft PowerPoint by using something called add-ins? Microsoft are continually adding lots of different add-ins that you can use to help um, improve your use of Microsoft PowerPoint. The one I'm going to show you today is show you how to use something called Word Clouds. Um, before I do continue, please like, subscribe and share. So I've got a PowerPoint presentation opened up here, two slides, first slide is the title slide, second slide is the feedback I've got from some of my subscribers on what they think about my YouTube channel. But I want to ch change or turn this feedback here into a word cloud, so showing the most common used words um, in the word cloud and those words will be big because they're the most common used, commonly used ones and those that are not commonly used are going to be small. That's how a word cloud works. So there's a few things you need to do to add a word cloud to Microsoft PowerPoint and use it. At the top here um, in your ribbon go to insert and then find the option for add-ins. So you can see add-ins here. Now there's two options. You can either get a new add-in or um, use an existing add-in you've already added. So I've already added the add-in here. It's called Pro Word Cloud. Let's say you haven't used it before and you want to add it, you will go to Get Add-ins here. Click on Get Add-ins, it will open up this pop-up box. Now in this pop-up box, the ones we're going to use for this video is the one that's called Pro Word Cloud. Click on the magnifying glass there and it will pop up with the, all the results. And the one you want is the one that's here, which says Pro Word Cloud, create beautiful word cloud images from your text. That's the one we want. We want to add it. Click on add, click on continue, but I've already added it. So I'm going to click on close here. Um, and once you've added it, you want to find or access that word cloud. So back in this option here, you go to my add-ins now and you can see Pro Word Cloud has been added. Click on Pro Word Cloud. It will open up the add-in on the right side. It will open it up in the pane here. Now what you can do is change the style so you can change the font, how you want your um, word cloud to be represented. So I'm going to choose a different word here. I'm going to choose the color scheme here. Uh, I'm going to go for a, I don't know, a celebratory um, color scheme there. Change the layout of your word cloud, so on and so forth. And it, the, the rest of the options are self-explanatory. How many words you want there, maximum, the size of the word cloud, so on and so forth. Now we, what, what we want to do is we want the add-in to um, convert the text to this word cloud with these settings. So you highlight the feedback text here on this slide, go to your word cloud options here, click on create word cloud. It will create the word cloud based on this selected text here. This is the feedback. So I'm clicking on create word cloud. It will go away, generate my word cloud. There's the word cloud that has been generated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and there's a couple of options you can do here. You right click the word cloud. You can either save that as an Im image on your device or you can copy the image or you can copy the image link. I'm going to, um, for this video, I'm going to copy the image like this. The image has been copied on a new slide here. I'm going to create a new slide. Just click on enter. I'm going to right click on my mouse, click on this image here and there's my word cloud. There. that's been generated from the feedback now you can see the most commonly used words are RA solutions informative YouTube videos so on and so forth and that's a very quick word cloud that's been generated based on the feedback if I wanted to change the design of this specific word cloud go back to my second slide where the feedback was highlight the um, text the feedback text at the top in your ribbon go to my add-ins oops Go to my add-ins, click on the arrow, click on Pro Word Cloud here. Um, go back to the pane on the right side. Um, you can regenerate the word cloud or you can change the options. Actually, if I didn't like the colors of the, that word cloud there, I can choose a different type uh, or a different color scheme. Um, let me choose a different color scheme. Let me do bright this time. Let me choose, di choose different fonts this time. So it just gives you a flavor on what to um, expect. Uh, regenerate the word cloud it will go away regenerate the word cloud based on my settings I quite like that one actually right click the image um, click on copy image um, and then you can replace whatever's on here delete that with the new uh, word cloud 
that it's generated for you so that's just a simple effective way showing you how to create a very quick word cloud based on your text in microsoft powerpoint using add-ins and the add-ins in this occasion we've used is pro word cloud so check in get in get add-ins on microsoft powerpoint it will definitely enhance your use of microsoft powerpoint on any occasion i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share